Hey, Jacob here, Pusher TV. Today is a big day for us. We have a big truck behind us with big things under the hood. We are officially revealing our compound system for the 6.7 Power Stroke equipped Ford trucks. This system is going to join our lineup that we currently offer for our Cummins and Duramax customers. We're really excited. That lineup has been very successful for us, very durable. Our customers have been super happy. The one here behind us is going to be doing similar testing to what we've done with those systems. The system's actually been on this truck for almost a year. We love strapping our systems to stuff like this because what better way to test what your system can do than put on something that can dish out monster abuse. So we're going to go over our setup, show you how it's laid out, go over the components, compare them to what's currently on the market so you guys get a good idea of what we're working on. So let's climb up one of these babies and check it out. Actually, check this out. So before we get started on the specifics of this design, I want to mention a few things. This is obviously a monster truck. Our kit is not designed for monster trucks. This truck started out as a 2018 two-wheel drive F-250. That's what this setup was designed on. It is testing on many other trucks like that. We're just fortunate that this truck's end goal was to become a monster truck, which is great for us for product durability testing and whatnot. This one actually has a twin brother that's going to be testing as well. So because it is a monster truck, you can see it's dirty. It's still dirty from the last time it was out. We're about 10 feet off the ground here. The pipes are all muddy. This thing gets driven hard, which is great for us. And so I wanna make sure you guys are aware that that's why this thing isn't super shiny for the product reveal. So let's dive into this thing and talk about why it is the way it is. So first and foremost, if you're looking at this layout and if you've done any type of research, you can tell how open it is. Uh, just how much space you have around your plumbing and whatnot. And that is because we set our charger much further outboard than anything else that's on the market right now. Everything else currently available, your atmospheric turbo is sitting right here. And that's because your factory battery is rather large. It sits right here, or your secondary battery, I should say. It sits right here. And so that forces, if you want to keep that, it forces the turbo over here. Also in this area is your low pressure AC line, which kind of does a big loop right here and it's definitely in the way. And so right off the rip, we were looking at that and said, you know what, this is just gonna to be too tight. I personally would not wanna lay out like that on my truck, especially for maintenance, install, all that. So right away we said, we're gonna supply a new battery, a smaller high performance battery to create the necessary room we need here, as well as a new low pressure AC line. So our kit, We'll include both those components. You can see our nice high performance, totally sealed AGM battery we have here. It comes with a CNC press broke battery tray. The location of it, the stud placement, all utilizes your factory battery cables. So there's no wiring modifications needed. This is all a nice bolt up setup. Also the AC line you can't see here. We'll show you that in another video, but it's nice low pro profile, kind of comes over underneath your power distribution box and creates the room for this turbo. And then consequently the downpipe. So since we're talking about the downpipe, you can see how it dives down right here next to the motor. There's actually a ton of room there once the AC line is rerouted for a downpipe to come down and go in and tie into your factory style connection at the exhaust. So we have the exact same style connector as your factory downpipe, which is a kind of a big four inch spherical conical joint. So that's a totally bolt on affair. There's no cutting, no welding, no nothing. It's all bolt on. And so by Moving our charger out here and then allowing our downpipe to go down the side of the motor, that gives us a ton of room here for our intermediate exhaust pipe. This is what routes your high pressure, high temp exhaust to your atmospheric. This is a hot tube, you need a lot of room around it. And it also goes to the back of the charger, so it's really nice to have a good amount of room to install it. And so you can see here, there's a ton of room here. Most other kits on the market either try to route your downpipe and intermediate exhaust pipe through this hole. There's some other designs that will route this intermediate exhaust pipe between the intake manifold and the front of the uh, factory charger, which I would not want to have to install that and deal with that. So you can see here how much room we have around our hot components to install and then keep heat from soaking into components around them. So next up is our intermediate charge pipe. This is tasked with carrying our first stage of boost from our atmospheric turbo 
to the charger in the valley. So you can see we have a nice big three and a half inch diameter charge tube that routes real nice and cleanly to that second charger. You can see we have a nice V-band connection here that uses an O-ring seal. And so this is really nice direct routing, a lot of room. This kit, as with pretty much all of our kits with the factory charger and a 75 millimeter atmospheric is gonna be able to make around seven, 750 horse. And so on pretty much any factory truck, you need to add additional fuel to get to that mark. And so we went ahead and put in the work up front to make sure that we're gonna clear additional injection pump kits. So we have one here, you can see the clearance we have for that. Also on this charge tube is an eighth inch MPT port there. That's your most common thread for boost sensors. It's really critical for your initial tuning and then just throughout the life of the kit to be able to monitor both stages of boost and make sure both chargers are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So lastly, for our major plumbing components is our cold air intake. Again, by having this charger out here, we open up a ton of space in front of it, which allows us to have a nice, large, sweeping cold air. By keeping your charger over here like other designs, you have this coolant bottle right in front of it and it just really restricts a nice flowing cold air. That's why you'll see a lot of like Cobra head boot design setups and whatever on competing kits. And it's just really tight. I've spoke with a lot of shops that use those kits in the past and they tend to rub here and they're just, they're tough to install. Over here, we have a ton of room. We're able to run our standard uh, air filter. We run in all of our other kits. And so it really allows for a super efficient five inch cold air intake. So that wraps up our major plumbing components associated with the compound system. Everything you see over here is our standard off the shelf, cold and hot side charge tubes, if you will, as well as our intake manifold. So that's really convenient for you guys who have purchased that already or are gonna do this kind of in stages. These setups here are totally compatible. And so that's the same like with our Duramax kits as well. Our Y bridges and cold side charge tube is so totally compatible with our compound system. So you're not buying new stuff and, you know, waste some money and so if you want to learn more about this there's a link up here you can go check it out that's currently available on the site now this stuff will be coming later and so you can upgrade in stages while you wait for this to come out so some other key components for this kit that are included with it is our coolant reroute which is actually on our site now and available compatible with lots of intake systems and it really just cleans up this area and gets all your coolant lines that are normally here down low. And so that's available on our site now. There's a link up here, you can go check it out. It's great, great way to clean up the engine bay. And then also, in my opinion, one of the most important components of a compound system is the turbo mount or bracket. Whatever is tasked with holding this charger in place that weighs right at 50 pounds is very important. And so rigidly mounting this thing to the engine to where all these other components are not having load transferred to them is very important. It's hard to see in the truck. We're not gonna really be able to show it to you in this video. In our install video and other videos, we'll definitely show it to you so you can see how it's set up. So this kit is just like our other kits, 100% complete. It comes with every nut, bolt, washer, coolant line, everything you're gonna need, including a full set of nice in detail instructions. So this is really intended for a handy guy to be able to do this in his driveway, or if you have a shop that does all your work, they'll have everything they need to do the job. They won't be running anywhere for hardware, anything like that. The last component of this setup that I wanna talk about, which is often overlooked, is your oil supply and drain lines. I spent many hours laying underneath this truck trying to figure out how we were gonna get oil into the upper pan so that the oil drain is above the oil line. It's been a long no, no, no to be draining into the oil in the pan for a turbocharger. And so every other kit on the market now drains into the lower pan. And so we've come up with a really convenient way to be able to drill and tap the upper pan. Our kit comes with everything you need to do it and all the instructions. So let's go down there and I'm gonna show you and give you an idea how it's set up. So obviously I have a lot of room to stand down here, but that's really not a factor on, our, on a factory truck. Our instructions are written for that. If you look up here, you can see our oil drain line here. Also, our oil supply line comes off right after the oil filter. So you're getting really good oil supply to your factory charger. But back to our drain line here, you can see we're high up on the upper pan. Like I said, every other system on the market drains into the lower pan or sells you another lower pan with a uh, bung into it. And so this seam right here, this gasket seam between your lower and upper pan is well below the oil level when the truck is running. We drain up here into our, as f high up in the upper pan as we can get. It's actually really easy to come in from the side here, drill and tap. Our kit comes with all that and the instructions to do so. And so that's a really nice way to make sure that you're evacuating your oil from the center section of that atmospheric as effectively as possible. 
So that wraps up this reveal video. If I didn't mention it already, this truck was built by Heavy Metal Fabrications up in Daytona. It's a work of art. If you guys want to see more of it, we'd be happy to cover it. Leave us a comment down below if you want to see that. Also, if you have any questions or concerns, the comment section is great. Email, phone calls, whatever you want to do, we're here for you. As always, thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.